this problem, we want to find the center and the radius of a circle with this equation. Now, if you look, this equation's got an x squared and a y squared, but it's not in the standard form. So I'm gonna write the standard form down below here. x minus h squared plus y minus k. Well, I could write a better k. All right, so that's the standard form of a circle. What we need to do is some algebra to turn this expanded form into the standard form. And the way we're gonna do that is called complete the square. So complete the square, when you have x squared plus bx, you can rewrite that. You take half of b, and you do x plus b over two squared minus just the b over two squared. Uh, I'm gonna put this in a box, it's very important. Uh, why does this work? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna foil this right here. So when I foil it, I have x times x, which is x squared, so far so good, plus the outside inside terms are x times b over two, or b over two x, then the same term will happen on the inside, and finally plus b over two times b over two, which is b over two squared. So that is the four terms coming out from foiling, and I'm just gonna bring down the last term minus the b over two squared, which these are gonna cancel out, and if you look what you're left with, b over two x plus b over two x, factor out the x, and b over two plus b over two is just bx. And so it turns out to just be x squared plus bx. All right, which is what we started with. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this. So I have x squared plus 9x plus y squared plus 10y plus five equals zero, and I just realized I'm gonna need quite a bit more space here, so I'm gonna do something you can't do. I'm gonna just move that down. Okay, so I'm gonna complete the square. I'm gonna do it on the x's first. I'm actually gonna make this even bigger. I want a little more room to work with. Okay, so B, for us is nine, and b over two is nine over two. So that's x plus b over two minus b over two squared. So that take, takes care of just what I have underlined, just that part. We're gonna do the same, complete the square here, we're gonna do it for the y's. Let's go ahead and do that now, plus all right, we have y plus 10 over two is five, so that's nice. So you have x plus b over two squared. Of course, now the variable's y, not x, but y plus five squared, minus that same b over two, which is five squared. So that took care of everything with the y in it. There's also the plus five equals zero part of this as well, which I just brought that in. All right, so we're actually getting pretty close to the standard form. Uh, you can probably see the center, but you can't see the radius like this. So the way to get the radius, we're gonna take these three terms to the other side. We're gonna use addition and subtraction to do that. Okay, negative nine over two squared. When you add it to both sides, you get nine over two squared, but it's positive. Uh, now it's important, the square happens to the number, the negative is outside of the square. So that's why it's still gonna be negative after you square it. And uh, that would be 81 over four. So when you add it to the other side, it's positive 81 over four. Same thing happens with a negative five squared, turns into positive five squared. Now the last term, plus five, you have to subtract that off both sides, so it's minus five. 
you can do some arithmetic here. Like I said, you can square the nine halves. Nine squared is 81, two squared is four. Squaring five is not so bad, it's just 25, and then minus a five. You can do 25 minus five is 20. And if you really want to keep going, you need to turn 20 into fourths. So in fourths, it'd be 20 times four over four, which is 80 fourths, all right. Yes, so 81 plus 80 is 161 fourths. All right, what in the world are we doing? We were trying to figure out something, the equation of a circle. All right, so that was 161 over four. What is that? Ah, so I'm just gonna, now if you notice, I was writing the entire equation out for the first three steps. Then I got lazy. And why did I get lazy? Well, if we look at what happened here, did I change anything on the left side of the equation? No, I sure didn't. So nothing changed here. So you can just not write anything until you're ready to do something else. So now what I'm gonna do is just copy down what I have underlined, the left side of the equation, I'm just gonna rewrite it at the very bottom. Now, if I change the left side of this equation, I would need to write each step out as I changed it. Uh, I didn't change anything on the left side, so there's no steps to write out. So I just shortcut it and wrote uh, basically nothing. Uh, typically, I would leave this completely blank. I wouldn't write that there's nothing there. But Okay, so this is a standard equation. You should be able to tell h. Now I want to warn you, h is not 9 halves. It's almost 9 halves, but not 9 halves. This, what you're looking at, remember, is x minus h squared. So h is actually negative 9 halves. So when you do x minus negative 9 halves, you will see x plus 9 halves. So when you see a positive, in this situation actually means the opposite. The y on the other hand, you have y minus k squared. Uh-oh, uh I think I messed something up. No, Mr. OK. Yeah, we're OK, all right, y minus k. So the same thing happens with y. So k is not positive 5, k is the opposite, is negative 5. So that's h and k. What's on the right side is r squared. So to get r, you square root. Now, normally we get the plus minus, but our radius, I said earlier, needs to be positive. So we're going to choose the positive one here. Square root of 4 is 2. So you can do square root 161 over two, and that's your radius. And so there's hk and the r value, and you can plug these in to answer the hk center part, and then r is the radius part.